Hey guys, Thunder E here. Here's a quick PSA for you before you go ahead and buy that iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Now, if you want to listen to music and charge your iPhone at the same time, it's going to cost you more. Yes, because Apple's of course gotten rid of the 3.5 mm jack. I stated this before in the past in my exposing uselessness video, talking about the fact that Apple will be having just lightning headphones and this is a problem. Now Apple, Apple is offering it, uh, a solution for you by giving you a dongle that will cost you $49.99 to charge your iPhone, yes, and of course, listen to music via the lightning cable, or at least the 3.5 mm jack. Now there is a cheaper version from Belkin that will cost you $40 to actually do the same thing. Useless, absolutely useless indeed, because you're charging customers to do something you could have done, like you did last year for free, without any stress whatsoever, just because you want to charge more money. So again, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus will cost you more just to listen and charge your iPhone. And this is supposed to be revolutionary because it's called courage. Yes, courage, courage to charge you more. That's what Apple is doing right here. Because it's plain and simple, okay? There's no benefit to having lightning powered headphones, zero. If anyone wants to say, oh, you can get better audio, no, to get better audio off your headphones, of course, you need a better DAC in the system. So if, uh, if the DAC is better with a lightning headphone uh, port, you can also have a better DAC in the 3.5, which L the LG V20 is proven with a quad DAC in there. It doesn't have a USB Type-C headphone jack, it uses 3.5 mm ports. So there you have it, guys. It's very clear and simple. Apple is, is, has the courage to charge you more money and rip you off with the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Uh, if you're concerned about this, yeah, leave those comments down below. Let's talk about it a little bit. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Yes, we'll also be doing a review of the iPhone 7 Plus. Give your thoughts on that and how useful the lack of a 3.5 mm jack really is. Ciao.